Hey guys, it's Karen. I'm here to review The Nickel Boys by Coulson Whitehead. So I love Coulson Whitehead. Um, I met him in person. I think I'll probably end up either inserting a picture or using it as my thumbnail. But anyway, um, so I met him a few years ago, probably like 2018, I think, um, at an amazing library in Champaign, Illinois. My first exposure to him was actually through the Parnassus First Edition Book Club, which I mentioned in a previous video. But I got a signed copy of The Underground Railroad, which obviously was super, super popular at the time. And then uh, right after I met him, I can't remember if it was right before, like in preparation for meeting him or right after I met him. But I went back and um, read, I believe this is the first book that he wrote. The Nickel Boys is my favorite. So the book actually starts by some students in more present day time um, digging in this area at what used to be the Nickel Academy um, and finding human remains. In the prologue, it talks about how the students are searching for these bones. And then it talks about all these people had been making reports and saying stuff that had happened to them while they were at this school. But it says no one believed them until someone else said it. And that kind of seems very relevant to our situation today that people say stuff over and over and over and over again and it's not till it's caught on camera or um, a celebrity says something that it gets any attention. Once we get to part one of the book, it starts by talking about Elwood, who's the main character. Um, he lives with his grandma because his parents just up and left him one night. He is the best character. I love him so much. He's so smart, so hardworking, always trying to do the right thing. Um, the book starts by talking about a Christmas gift that changed his life, which was like a vinyl record of MLK on um, one of his speeches. And so we just meet this student who is just like really trying his best, getting more familiar with like the civil rights movement and stuff like that, and really just starting to come into his own and learning more about who he wants to be. Um, he is amazing in school and has the opportunity actually to take advanced classes at a nearby college. Um, so he's in high school earning college credit. And on his first trip to go to class for the very first time, um, because he is poor and he does, like he has a job, he's working, he's trying his best, but he doesn't have enough money or a car or whatever to get him to class. So he has to hitchhike. So you just feel for him because he's doing the absolute best he can trying to take these college classes. The only way he can get there is by hitchhiking. And when he gets in the car, not too long down the road, the cops pull them over because the guy that he hitchhiked with actually stole the car. So that brings us to the second part of the book where he is now at this reform school, the Nickel Academy. He literally has done nothing wrong, but because he is black and because he was in a bad situation, he is blamed for this. And instead of going to prison or juvie or whatever, he gets to go to this reform school where they will like make him into a good person. When he first gets to the school, one of the staff members introduces uh, the whole like level system they have and just gives an intro to what the school will be like. And he says, everyone's here because they haven't figured out how to be around decent people. Well, that is not at all Elwood. Like, they don't even know him. He is like the best kid. And so little innocent him thinks that if he just keeps trying his best, things are going to be good. In fact, he said he consoled himself with the notion that he just had to keep doing what he had always done act right. This book deals a lot with expectations people have, particularly for black students. Like there's just this expectation that they can't do anything. Um, and so that kind of starts when he's in this car because he's in the wrong place in the wrong time and he's black, it's automatically his fault. Um, and when he starts at this school, his education is very different at Nickel Academy. And it's basically like they don't expect that these kids can do anything or learn anything. Um, there's zero expectations and he keeps asking for like more difficult and challenging work and they don't give it to him because they just don't care. The other things that you notice once he's at Nickel Academy are just like how abusive this whole situation is. The school is so horrible and there's so many things that go on while he's there. I don't want to talk too much about the stuff that goes on because <laughs> I already feel like I'm saying way too much of the plot. 
but really bad things happen to the kids. They are not treated well and it's not a good place to be at all. So the ending was absolutely amazing. Again, I won't say anything, but I just really want to talk to you about the ending. <laughs> so once you finish the book, then there's the acknowledgments where Colson talks about how this was based on fact, like a school similar to this actually existed in Florida. And um, he gives resources to um, different articles that have been written and websites you can go to to learn more about the actual school. I would recommend this to anybody. It won the Pulitzer, so I know there's a few booktubers out there that are trying to make their way through the Pulitzer Prize winners, and so you should read this for that. You should also read it just because it's absolutely amazing. Um, I will say make sure you're in the right mood before you read it because it's very heavy, it's very depressing, and it will make you ugly cry for sure. And I think the saddest part about this book is that number one, that it actually basically happened. But the other thing is like, this takes place, I believe like in the forties, I would have to go back and look what year, but it took place in the past. But the thing is this stuff is still happening. Um, and it's just, oh, I can just feel people saying, if the, like if this was in the news right now, people would say, oh, well he just shouldn't have hitchhiked. If he wouldn't have hitchhiked, this wouldn't have happened to him. <laughs> I feel like this book kind of helps ignorant people <laughs> see all the barriers that are in the way of someone trying to do their very best, trying to get an education, trying to get an actual career and I do know um, that some people have said this book has really changed their thinking. That is it. I'm curious if you guys have read this book. I want to know what you thought about the ending. Did you see it coming? I don't know. I don't know how to discuss it without like there being spoilers in the comments, but I just want to know if you saw it coming. And then, oh, there's another question I want to ask and I feel like I should not ask it because you should read this book. I will see you guys later. Bye.